Have you heard your grandparents being nostalgic about the past? They say things like, earlier there used to be trees here or we would wake up to the sound of birds. Now, can you tell me why this isn't a reality anymore? For starters, we could blame ourselves for wanting huge buildings and wide roads. Where has the natural cover of forests disappeared? In truth, we have cut down all those trees in the name of development. Can you tell me what this process is called where many trees and plants are cut out? Yes, we call it deforestation. Clearing up forests for human benefit is called deforestation. Can you name a few reasons why man clears up forest lands? Agriculture, that's right. We clear land to bring more land under cultivation. What are the reasons can you think of? Yes, for building factories, houses and roads. And what about cutting trees for wood and fuel? Isn't that another reason? Of course it is. Man has cut trees over the years and do you know this very action has caused some serious reaction? Yes, we call them consequences. We cannot get away by reducing the green cover on our planet. Trees and plants are a part of an ecological chain and they maintain a specific balance. Let us see how many deforestation consequences you are able to identify from the following pictures. You can now imagine the extent of consequences deforestation has, can't you? Let us look at each of these in a little more detail. Trees and plants give out oxygen and use carbon dioxide during photosynthesis. With reduced plants and trees, the level of carbon dioxide on the earth is increasing. Carbon dioxide cannot escape into space and like many other harmful gases, it is creating a blanket of heat around the earth. This increasing heat has led to a famous phenomenon known as global warming. This is the cause of the increase in the temperature of the earth. Do you know that according to studies, the last few decades of the 20th century have been hottest in the last 400 years? This can create a chain of events. High temperatures affect the water cycle. Glaciers melt at an alarming pace. Soil cannot hold excess water during rainfall or even rise in sea level. Both these events can cause floods. On the other hand, any change in the water cycle can also lead to droughts. Haven't you noticed the erratic climate changes in your area? These are all results of deforestation. Let us see how the water table is affected due to deforestation. Trees and plants have roots which hold the soil and allow water to percolate into the soil. With trees around, water does not run off carrying away with it the topsoil. This means that absence of trees would cause increased soil erosion, removal of topsoil layer and reduced underground water levels. Soil that is devoid of its top layer is infertile and gradually open lands become deserts. This process is called desertification. Land that had once harboured rich trees and wildlife now remains a desert devoid of all life. What about pollution? As already stated, increased release of harmful gases has caused global warming. This pollutes the air around us. It is therefore evident that all consequences are interrelated. Rampant cutting down of trees will only add to more problems around us. What can we do to prevent this? Can we repair the damage done? To know more, watch our next video.